So you have a 2021 iPad mini and you have an issue where it's stuck in a boot loop. It'll just keep restarting. You'll see the Apple logo and then it'll restart again and you'll see the Apple logo on and off, on and off. Okay, I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. Take note that this iPad mini is fixed, but let's just pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop. I just keep seeing that Apple logo, then it goes away, then it appears, and so on. By the end of this video, I'm going to say at least maybe 70% of you guys should be up and running, okay? So these are all easy fixes, so just follow along here. So let's pretend I'm stuck in that boot loop and that Apple logo keeps popping up. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and restart it with a special key combination here, okay? It's going to be the you want to tap the volume up, volume down, and then press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see the Apple logo, okay? So we'll do it together. Let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop. Volume up is right here, okay? So we're going to go, ready? Volume up, volume down. Press and hold that power button and just keep on holding this power button and just wait. Keep, I'm still holding on to the power button. Just wait until the Apple logo appears. Just keep holding. Keep holding. Okay, now it just turned off. Now I'm still holding on to the power button. Now once you see the Apple logo, now go ahead and let go and wait. Give it time to boot back up and hopefully you are back up and running and you are out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in the boot loop, we're going to go to option number two. Option number two to try, okay? Go ahead and grab your power cord. We want to go ahead and plug it in. Give it a little bit of a battery juice. And again, let's pretend I'm stuck in the boot loop here. While it's charging, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and restart it using a special key combination. We'll do it again, ready? Volume up, volume down. Press and hold that power button and do not let go. Let's just still pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. I'm holding on to the power button and just be patient until we see an Apple logo. So still holding to the power button here. It just turned, the iPad just turned off. Now when it turns back on, we see the Apple logo. Go ahead and let go of the power button. And now, hopefully you are out of the boot loop. If you're still stuck in a boot loop, option number three. Okay, so option number three here, we can go ahead and unplug it. Also, if you have a case on here, take the case off, okay? So now what we're gonna do here is what I call the tap method. We're gonna use two fingers. We're gonna hold the iPad mini just like this. So we're gonna tap all over the screen and all over the back here. And the whole premise behind this is you may have some something that's like a band or something that's or a ribbon that's slightly dislodged and a couple taps, believe it or not, can pop it back into place, okay? So again, let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop here. Go ahead and hold the iPad like this, grab your two fingers, and what I want you to do is tap all over. Just keep on tapping, okay? And even though you're stuck in a boot loop now, as you're tapping like this, Sometimes what will happen is all of a sudden it will just get out of the boot loop and you'll see this um, I mean you'll actually be in to the login screen, okay? So just keep tapping here. Don't worry if you're still stuck in a boot loop all over Same thing turn it over all over the back here, okay? All around the lens tap two fingers tap Tap kind of hard, okay? It may hurt your fingers a little bit, but just keep on going keep on tapping Just keep on going all over Turn it over and see if you're still stuck in the boot loop. If you are, no problem. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to restart with that special key combination. Again, ready? Volume up, volume down. Press and hold that power button and do not let go until it turns off and then we see the um, black screen and then Apple logo appears. Okay, I just took my finger off. Anyway, you get the message, okay? So hopefully you're up and running now. If not, we're going to go to the next possible method. Next possible method we're going to do here is what I call the massage method. It's the same premise with the tapping, except this time what we're going to do is massage it, okay? So I want you to grab your iPad mini like this, grab your two thumbs, and what you do is press all over on the screen and all over on the back, okay? If you don't want to smudge it, uh, your screen up, you can use like a rag or a paper towel or something. But anyway, just go like this and just press, press, press all over, press. Give it like a nice massage all over all over and keep on going and like I said before sometimes you keep doing this all of a sudden you'll be out of the boot loop as well okay so keep on going still boot loop no problem let's go ahead and turn it over and let's do the same thing on the back okay press press in give it like a nice massage press 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 all over all over okay even around the lens here you don't want to go on top of the lens all around the lens let's press 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 okay all over Turn it over and see if you're out of the boot loop. If you're still in the boot loop, no problem. We're going to do the restart with the special key combination again. Okay, ready? Volume up, volume down. Press and hold that power button and do not let go until we see an Apple logo appear. Okay, so still holding here. Just wait for it to turn off. 
when you see a totally black screen, I'm still holding onto the power button, there's a black screen, and now when the Apple logo appears, we can let go of the power button, and hopefully you are up and running now. If not, we're going to go to the next possible option. Next possible um, solution here is what we're going to do is what I call the smack method, because what we're going to do is we're going to smack your iPad mini. Go ahead and just put your hand like this. You can put a rag on there if you don't want to get your screen dirty, but what we're going to do is just hold out your palm like this, and what we're going to do is we're going to smack all over the screen, and we're also going to do the back, okay? We'll start off from the screen here, and we're going to go, and pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. Just keep it a couple of wax, like that. Look at the screen, still stuck in a boot loop. Turn it upside down as well. We want to get the bottom of the screen as well. A couple of wax. Look at your iPad. Ah, still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. Flip it over and we're going to do smack the back as well. Also on the bottom back. Turn it over and see if you are stuck in a boot loop. If you are, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to use a special key combination to restart it. Remember, volume up, volume down. Press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see a black screen until it turns off and then once it boots back up you see the Apple logo then you can go ahead and let go. Okay, hopefully you're up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next possible step. Next possible step is this. What I want you to do is grab your iPad mini while it's in a boot loop. I want you to go to your refrigerator and put this in the freezer. Okay, put it in your freezer. Make sure it's naked just like this. Just put it in the freezer just like this and let it sit there for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, grab your old, your cold iPad mini out of the freezer and do the same thing. Remember, volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button and do not let go until the screen goes black and then you see the Apple logo again and then go ahead and let go. And now hopefully you are up and running. Now, the thing is, if you tried all of these steps and you guys are still down, then what I want you to do is start from the very first step, try every single step again. Didn't work two times, try it four, five, six, Try it at least seven times. Sometimes the seventh time is a charm. Just keep on trying, okay? Anyway, if this worked for you, give me a thumbs up and comment which method worked for you or which method you think worked for you. And if it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. Like I said, we should see at least a 70% thumbs up, all right? Good luck, guys.